The wetlands of Southeast North America are home to many strange and unique creatures. This dark, swampy habitat is the favorite home of a very interesting group of arachnids, the fishing spiders. Welcome to Scooter Island Wildlife. My name is, is Nicholas. Right now, I'm in a swamp. Great place to find all kinds of really cool animals. But specifically, I'm looking for the six spotted fishing spider. I'm just looking through all this swampy area, trying to find a good spot for one of these guys to be hanging out. I've got this little cup. I'm gonna try and catch one in. There's a lot of spiders in this habitat. Right here is a long jawed orb weaver. They spin large orb webs right next to the bank in hopes of catching flying insects like damselflies or dragonflies. Cool species I intend to make a video about at some point, but right now we're looking for a different kind, so let's keep searching. Okay, so I finally found a good sized fishing spider. It's actually a big wolf spider in the next room too, but today I'm going for the fishing spider, so that'll have to be its own video. So I've got this cup, I'm gonna try to move in close, scare him in here, and then I can take him to dry land to film. Yes. Oh yeah, he's, he's, he's bigger than I thought actually. I thought I thought he might be too small, but he's nice sized. I hear him kind of clattering in the cup actually. Okay, let's get this guy to the land. Okay, the goal is gonna be to get this spider out of the cup without it escaping because they are lightning fast spiders. Good size. I saw one that was actually bigger than this, but unfortunately I couldn't get him. But this definitely one's definitely sizable enough. Let's try that again. Okay, I'm gonna try to put my hand on top, flip it over, let them calm down. You know, once they figure out you're not going to eat them, they typically, sometimes they'll just sit still. Okay, so this is the six spotted fishing spider. This is what I was after. Really neat spiders because they live most of their lives right on the water surface. They'll sit on logs, you know, right on little, you know, drifting pieces of debris, and that's where they set up their ambush. They don't spin webs. They don't spin webs. See, they're very agile. He just jumped right to my hand, and that's how they hunt. They're so agile. They sit there, wait for a little insect that falls into the water, a fish, even something like a, a, you know, a tadpole. And on their legs are tiny hairs, and those hairs are super sensitive to vibration. So if an insect falls into the water, if a little minnow, even a tadpole moves near them, boom, they'll jump on it, inject their venom, and then eat it. Even though these are large spiders, they can float, walk, and even run on the water surface and not break the surface tension because they have a very long leg span. This spreads their weight out over a large area so they don't sink. Venom's not dangerous to humans. If he does bite me, and I'm pretty sure he won't, I haven't, unless I were to put pressure on him, that's what might trigger him to defend himself. But if he felt threatened and, did, and he did bite me, uh, it wouldn't be a big deal at all. It'd probably just be itchy, maybe a little bit of a stinging sensation. That is so cool. He's sitting right in my hand. Doesn't want to bite me at all. These are not creatures to be afraid of. They don't mean you any harm. All they want to do is escape. Hope you enjoyed learning about the fishing spider with me. They're so cool. Make sure to subscribe to the channel if you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time on Skidoo Island Wildlife.